Okay, welcome to the Dutchman's Wood Shack. Um, here I want to show you this little device I got here. It's one of the many that I use to sand with. Um, this one's really kind of cool because there's these little sanding discs that you can get. And what happens is, now I'm on 320, so I'm in here trying to polish this up a little bit. But what's really kind of cool with this is, is you can go like this. And get it down without burning your hand. See, so what I'm doing here is basically a policy. Uh, it, I have three points this down here. And see that, I can get the outside too, if I want. And I can get the reveal with this, like this, come up to here. So I can pretty much do anything I want with this. It. It's pretty cool. You can tell it's spin around that way and this way. <laughs> or, or, the other one would be these three. Now you can put this on a drill press, which I normally do, is a 320, or I can put it on a drill and use it. And so that's that's the really easy way. The big thing about when you're doing bowls like this with these curvatures, trying to get in here <clears throat> to get um, back in the corners where you can you barely reach in there with your hands sometimes. Now I've made tighter ones in this. Uh, this the way I fluted this out is a little bit easier to work with so Usually what I'll do is I'll come in here See I still have some rings in here. I gotta work on you know, and I'll use something like this And I can get down in here like this you see the smaller one can do the same thing uh, Work maneuver maneuverability is basically what I'm looking at sometimes you have to take and use uh, hand sanding to get in here uh, you don't want to ding up too much now what I've done here is polished it. So <clears throat> what I do is I go through after I, after I polished it a couple of times and find my spots. Now right here is a little bit right there. Basically, it's not too bad. This one came out better than I thought it would. This is a key to, of telling whether your um, tools are sharp or not. And... Uh, this one really turned out really kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit busy. I planned it and doing it a certain way, and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So, I mean, I shouldn't say that. It came out as good as I expected. Um, now, what I'll do here is probably go and nitpick a little bit. Even on the outside, there's some issues. But the key, too, is once you polish this enough, you could do a couple of things with it. If you wanted to stain it, you could stain it. If you wanted to um, put sanding sealer on it, you could. Uh, what's kind of cool, too, is that you could fill up the voids uh, a little bit thicker uh, polyurethane on it. That would work. Um, right now, I'm just kind of trying to get fine tune this down, and I wanted to show you how I had come about doing some of my sanding. Um, there's another thing here, too, that I come across is this. When you get into some really tight spots, you can use these. This is a coarse grit. And the drill doesn't go as fast as I want, so sometimes I put it in a drill press over there, and it gets a lot faster, but you got to be really careful. The problem with these is they kind of tend to uh, leave you a groove. If you're not careful with them so sometimes what I'll do is I'll go back and forth a little bit on this and I'll pull it out and I'll use the other two to work on it quick tip from the, the Dutchman's wood shack whenever you're sanding when you start and you want to go out rough best it's best to get some really good sandpaper and start with like 80 grit and go up to 320 and then go back down again, but not all the way to 80, roughly 180, maybe two, 200, 220. And you should go back and forth a couple of times in order to figure out <coughs> where your problem is in some of the rings in here. Now, the issue with rings doing bowls is you're going 
when you're going this way, you're going across the grain. So a lot of times when I'm doing doing bowls, I have to go and do the go with the grain, which means palm sanding or hand sanding because when you turn this on like this, you're going it's going counterclockwise, and all you're doing is adding to the rings. And you can only do so much, and then what you do is you go against or you go with the grain when you're working on it. But that's just, it comes with time and experience. It's like anything else. When you're doing a piece of furniture, you never want to go across the grain because that's how you scratch it. Okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. A little tip from the Dutchman's Wood Check. And thanks. If you're not making anything, you're not creating sawdust, you're not being creative. So get with the program and create something.